walk, run, or stroll along a colorful village. It's the annual challenge for Hope 5K, and it's getting ready to kick off at the Give Kids the World Village this Saturday. And it is such a special day because it gives our community an inside look at how this place is getting results for families and children. Well, the resort-style village provides a full week of activities to families and kids who are suffering from a critical illness for free. That's right, from their accommodations to daily meals and tickets to Central Florida's amusement parks. It's really magical. New 6 at 9's Carolina Cardona shows us what runners can expect this Saturday. We're at Matthew's Boundless Playground, and I'm told that this is the largest Candyland playground in the world. Now, runners on the day of the race will get to meet some of the iconic Candyland characters like Queen Frostine and Princess Lolly right here. On your mark, get set, go. Mayor Clayton of Give Kids the World Village is starting to warm up his rabbit feet for the Challenge for Hope 5K. It's just a great day. There's music, there's entertainment, there's food, there's ice cream. Anything you could possibly want in a morning, you can get here on Saturday morning. The only time during the year that we actually open our gates and allow folks that are not volunteers or families to come and experience the village. So it's our opportunity to showcase what the village is all about. And it's a day where the community comes together for a good cause. Proceeds from the event will help continue the Give Kids the World mission. We are the destination for children from around the world who share two common bonds. They're between the ages of 3 and 18 and have a critical illness and one wish, and that's to visit all the magic that Central Florida has to offer. We provide the accommodations, the meals, the attraction tickets. The village has 166 villas where families stay for a week. It's a place where they can disconnect from hospital visits and difficult moments they encounter while their child is battling a severe medical condition. By the time they get here, many times they're at the end of their rope. You know, they're just tired of all of those things at those day-to-day -day challenges. I love to see the families because they have such a great time here. And then I think of how difficult their times are at home. And what I hope is that when they go home, they get to take a little piece of the village with them. Runners will pass through different zones and they'll run into famous movie characters like Stormtroopers. Ghostbusters, Batman, and Superman. You can stop when you're running and take photos. They'll have them before and after. It's, it's really a lot of fun. And you don't have the long lines like you do other places. And you don't need to be an avid runner to participate. Anybody and everybody. And if you're a, a little nervous because you might not have a friend here, when you leave, you'll have plenty of friends. It's a great event. Now, after the runners cross the finish line, each participant will get a ribbon, just like this one, and the medal, the design on it, it was made by a former Wish Kid. If you'd like to participate in the upcoming race, go to our website, clickorlando.com, for more information. Carolina Cardona, News 6 at 9. That Love is that. such a magical place. Ice cream for breakfast out there, too. Yes. Yeah, why Living not? the dream for one week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it runs from 7 to 9 on Saturday. Of course, you can register as a team or as an individual. And it, like what Julie said earlier in the show, Give Kids the World um, fulfills one wish per hour. Yes. Just really puts into perspective mm -hmm. how many kids are wishing for the magic of Central Florida and everything we have to offer here, and they make all that possible. And that gives them a boost to their healing. Oh, yes, Absolutely. it does. Yes.